That is so nicely balanced. Hi everyone, Ron Spomer here with a real treat. I have one of George Honig's Rotary Round Action Rifles, and this is a special gem. You may have seen my earlier video in which George demonstrated this beautiful rifle that he makes. He's designed this thing from the start, front to back. After years and years of gunsmithing and repairing others, he just whittled away all the non-essentials to make a perfectly functioning simple rifle or shotgun you can chamber it either way and it's really something different starting with the scope mount that he has invented he built this himself and it is the slickest quickest little quick release system i've ever seen watch this lift the lever pull it off it's got a little notch back here with his initials in it and that's for the recoil lug on the base of it so it locks in beautifully with that lug held into place. And if I could see what I'm doing, just this quickly, it's going to lock down. So he's got a small two and a half power loophole scope on here, which he says is really handy. If you need to get rid of that scope and get into the brush after something big and dangerous, you can put that scope in your pocket quite simply. Lightweight and quick. And now look what we have. <clears throat> Open sights, classic stuff, dangerous game. This is chambered for... A 9.3 by 74 rimmed cartridge. And it's rimmed for a good reason, because this is a double rifle, as you can see. We've got two over and under barrels, but look at how it opens. Completely different from any double rifle I've ever seen before. This is the rotary round action. Look at these big recoil lugs, top and bottom, right there. And it twists together. <laughs> That is so strong. Look what we get with that system. Both of those barrels, and you can see the chambers in there. When I close this, those are going to be perfectly in line with this, the whole system. So you're not getting that, that hinging effect you do with traditional hinged action double rifles. You've got your, your torque coming straight back. And with those massive recoil lugs, this thing is never going to come off the fence. It's never going to weaken. Its strength is just pretty much permanent you don't get that crazy torque you do with the traditional rifle the forend on it has no functioning metal parts these two pieces of ch beautifully checkered walnut are merely on the, from your hand to hold there are no moving parts in there that cock it all the cocking mechanism is located right inside here and it's it's complicated to me but it's really quite simple if you're a gunsmith you would really appreciate it and i can take this thing apart if i do it right by pulling the extractor out and popping it right off. Look at that, my two pieces just like that. <laughs> it is just brilliant how simply this thing is put together. Notice it has two triggers. George likes two triggers because he says when he was working gunsmithing, most of the repairs that came in were for auto ejectors that broke or single triggers that weren't working properly. He said, why mess with it? Just get two triggers. And it's planned redundancy anyway. I mean, that's why the old double guns had double triggers back together just that quickly. The safety, literally lifts the sears off that you cannot possibly fire it so the triggers aren't even engaged right now you can see how they move so they're not engaged safety off click click you can dry fire every day all day and it never hurts anything the firing pins are just absolutely tiny i don't think they weigh a half of an ounce i just don't know what else i can say about this rifle other than it is just about perfection look at the lines on that baby when I put this up, it's just right there. I'm looking down that sight, and if I want to do a little more reach with that, I can put my scope back on. And I might want to stick on a, a small, oh, like a two to seven variable scope if I were going to be doing a lot of longer range shooting. But this two and a half is just perfect for a dangerous game rifle. I don't think you can beat it. Let's shoot it, and we'll see how it shoots, and he, he extracts those empties. Oh, before I shoot, I want to show you how this thing loads. So I've got a couple of rounds here. This is a 9.3 by 74 rimmed cartridge. And you can see the rim right there. And the rim is pretty common on double guns with extractors because it just makes it a lot easier for the uh, rim to get grabbed to pull that out. So we open the action. And if you hold these things right, you can put two rounds down in there just like that. They just gravity feed, slick as can be. Close it, and you're ready to shoot. Push off the safety, bang. And then when you want to unload, when you want to eject those things, you're extracting with what George calls gravity ejection. 
but it works really slick. And practice with this, and it's really quick. You can get so fast, so so slick and smooth. Dump them out like that. Ah, oh, man, that would just be a fun rifle to hunt with. Boy, that is a pretty mild shooting cartridge. 270 grain bullet at about 2,300 feet per second. That'll be the do the job on a buffalo. Look at this. It's a little bit low. George told me that he didn't have this scope zeroed for this load, but look at how close it is. This is a well-regulated barrel. You know, a big part of a big challenge of building a good double barrel rifle, of course, is getting those barrels to shoot to the same place. So obviously George has done a beautiful job of regulating this rifle to keep those bullets hitting in the same spot. Hey, if you're looking for a really unusual double rifle, or a shotgun. He makes these in shotguns as well. Well, he used to make them. That's the bad news. The good news is this is one incredible, special, rare action rifle. But George is retired now, and he's not making it anymore. So if you want one, you've got to go to the used market. But, man, if you want an unusual, well-balanced, beautiful double shotgun or rifle, you could do a lot worse than looking for a George Honig rotary round action. This thing is absolutely perfection. Uh, you had something like 78? That sounds about right. About 78 but that's not just rifles, it's all... The Shotguns Lord. as well as rifles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And have you ever built a rifle-shotgun combination? Yes. You did? But I don't have the gun anymore, it's sold. Yeah. Sold for about 400 bucks? Yeah. <laughs> What did these uh, sell for when you were building, building them in the last years? Um, I think it was 27.5. 27.5? Is that for either or, rifle or shotgun? Uh, or no, rifle that's for the rifle. That's the rifle? Rifle is more. Shotgun was uh, 22.5. Mm -hmm. Don't have to regulate the shotgun and put yeah, the sights on no it? No scope mount. And... Yeah. Now, that's a beautiful system. So I'm going to take this home with me, and if you ever want to visit, come over. Yeah, I'll let I, you see I it. may call you if I need to borrow it or something. <laughs> For more information on firearms, ballistics, optics, and hunting, subscribe to Ron Spomer Outdoors' YouTube channel. And check out our informative and entertaining website, ronspomeroutdoors.com. Don't forget, hunt honest and shoot straight.